Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2020. This is Euromobile's Profiler 675 SB semi-integrated van. Now the words SB in some vans, some brands, SB means single beds, but not with Euromobile, it means side bed. So, uh, Sometimes they use German, as here, for example, and so EB would be single birds. Okay, this vehicle, seven, seven meters long, 699, 232 wide, 286 in height, 68,720, and uh, I don't know the empty weight is, but I think, I would suspect it's around three tons around 3.5 to 4.4 uh basis and if you want 4.4 you're gonna get a stack of payload i don't even put it i'm usually complaining at the lack of payload but in this case i'm saying i haven't got a clue where it's gonna go do you think the lighting could be improved in here well let's see what we can do control panel let's stick the 12 volt sorry let's stick the 12 volt on and stick the lights on. I'll try again. There you go. And it all lights up. In the background, you can hear the vacuum cleaners because they're cleaning up after yesterday's exciting day at this trade fair. So, what do you think of this then? Show you one or two of the features, such as this bed will lift up. What well, should lift up? I'm trying to use. Sorry, the bed does. The bed does lift up. Oh, there you go, and that reveals below this huge amount of storage space below. Put the bed down again. Well, huge. Or is it? Oh, see, that's the problem of doing things with one hand and not two. Let's go in here. So, uh, very nice, I think. Side wet room. There you go. This sort of comes out to reveal. That's where the toilet is. Under here. I called this a sauna in the past. But looks a bit of sauna, sauna like. I mean, it's not a sauna. It looks a bit like a sauna. Oh, here, look, this has got stuck, so we'll try and release it. Oh, yeah, that worked. When it gets stuck, another way of doing it is this. I can't really demonstrate as it gets stuck, but uh, you put your hand on it like that and push, and that releases it. And that, oh, it's going to have to get stuck for me to uh, demonstrate properly. I like a bar above, but I think that's over the wrong place. It should be over the shower area, in my humble opinion. And, and, lots of room in here. Look at all that room. And, we'll close this. There's me in the shower now uh, as a rule what you get with this layout immediately on the left you'll get a wardrobe there's a wardrobe and below that you get more Storage. Got a rather attractive uh, kitchen with a curved uh, front to it, and got deep storage down here, and and here too. Three burners. Attractive window with this. Um, I think that's a very attractive window. So look up here.
Pat fridge from Thetford, three way fridge, and this offers more storage at the top. Now, uh, over here, you may have noticed there's two, two USBs up there, and obviously, there's USBs at the front. This vehicle's on a um, automatic basis, but if you use those USBs, it's draining the, the, the vehicle battery. So, even though I know it doesn't take much power. Personally, I would avoid doing that. I find this window here absolutely outstanding. I really like it. It does get a bit hot when you're driving in, in southern climes in the summer. I found that out in Sicily. Put this up here. But you have to leave it open a bit to stop it getting too hot, otherwise the window, window will buckle. I hate locking out sun, but uh, sometimes you have to. There's a double floor. And uh, we'll have a look on the outside now. Did I give you the price? 68720 I can't remember. There you can see in the garage. And around, let's see, another similar model to this. Same one, but it's going to look a bit different inside. Slightly different layout, see the different colour. Let's see if we can see any other ones with the SB layout. See the choice of vehicles here is quite outstanding. And this is only one of several halls. So you can really, uh, if, you, if you're coming in the future, obviously you won't be coming here in the past, but if you're coming in the future, you'll uh, get, a lot, get a good uh, a good view of the, uh, the motorhome market here in, in Europe. And it sort of might help you to decide, even if you're coming just to have a look. I think it's, uh, it's a, great, uh, a great place to come. And it might help you sort of decide if you want a second-hand vehicle. So I say, first of all, I want, I, I want to suggest people rent the vehicles. And then I want to suggest that if they buy, they get a used vehicle. Right? Because, it's, it's, you know, it's a lot of cash. And you've got to have to wait a very long time for this vehicle to become uh, available. For them to build, sorry, for them to build the vehicle. So uh, that's why I suggest uh, rent second hand and then you might want to get a, get a new one of course if you get a new one you can tell them what you want you can have it looking like the one we saw here or the one we saw second so anyway good thanks very much for watching and all the best from me in Dusseldorf this is September 2020 I know it's going to be much later by the time this film gets up it may may have me 2021 but uh, anyway, all the best and uh, thank, thanks for being here.